Sarah, wait. I'm fine, really. Well, you must have been chopping some pretty strong onions. What's wrong? I can't. Yeah, you can. There's more to my job than sermons and sacraments. I need to listen, it's what I'm for. Some things you're just best off not hearing. How about letting me be the judge of that? I just... I can't. Surprise! What? Well, I got nearly that from the sweatshop, so I thought I'd go home and make myself a beautiful roll ready for our date tonight. I'll, um, I'll leave you to uh, it. No, Sarah, No, honestly, hold I'm on. good. Uh, I'm thanks. What's the matter with her? She's broken a nail? No, she seemed pretty upset, actually. Oh, there's always somebody upset in that house. I reckon it's built on some old Indian burial ground, me. Come on, want to hear all about your day? Pull it across. Look at her, fat in her eyelids. What, you mean blinking? There's blinking and blinking. And you've not seen the way her hand's been lingering over Kirky's box tape. I'm not going to sit here and let myself become the next Cheryl Cole or Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, you are gallant. And strong, too. Do you work out? Well, I do deliveries sometimes. I mean, do you go to the gym? You got cracking biceps. Nice. Get your stinking paws off him! And he bent no! Come here! Oh, Reynolds! Break it up! What's going on? I thought I told you, Pear. She's at it again! She's all over my kirky like a polyester cami! Mm, is that what he wears at home, Kinky? Stop! Just stop! I'm fed up to the back teeth with all this bickering! Well, that's all she'll have left the way she's going. This is your last warning. Leave my husband alone, Kirk! Take her home now. You, my office. Come on, get your drink for your nerves. Uh, why? He happens to be a very attractive man. I wish I could have seen his face when you passed him on the inside. <laughs> you wouldn't have wanted to see mine. I was scared stiff. Another cut of paint we've both been off. You see, this is why you're different class, mate. You see gaps other people don't. Take kind of risks others wouldn't. <laughs> Don't let my girlfriend hear you say that. You can't let her stop you. This is what you're born to do, man. And there's good money in it. Maybe. Maybe? Mm. There's no maybe about it. Me and you, we clean up. Oh, flipping heck. So we need to have a word with her. I've just got to call you. It's not what it looks like. Is it not? Yes, exactly what it looks like. I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, you're just sorry that you were seen. But, you know, if it makes you feel any better, Luke, I didn't have to catch you red-handed. I already knew. You did? Norris told me. Yeah, I had to find out from Norris that my boyfriend's taking me for a total mug. At least I know where I stand now. No, you don't. If this was just a one-off. I'm right, it was. You lied to my face. You won't get the chance to do it again. Wait. One day in the job, and you bring production to a flaming standstill. I'm sorry, Dad. I was just having a laugh. I got carried away. Yeah, you did. I was worried for you poncing around in your suit and tie. I've been taping up boxes of pants all day. It's good to start from the bottom up. Oh. Literally, in this case. Well, it's just not what I saw myself doing at 25. Well, you understand, Pops. You're my girl. You're bound to be ambitious. And I promise you, you won't be doing this forever. But you've got to walk before you can run. Yes, so you can start by walking to the pub, making your peace with Beth. Oh, uh, really? It wouldn't hurt to put out her misery for all our sakes. No, 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 stop. You're upside down. No, no. Uh, what I mean, that should have been an up bow, not a down bow. I'm going to have to start calling you Yehudi. Oh, hardly. The bells of Van Dome is a very basic piece of music. It's stupid. How can you play bells on a violin? The girl's got a point. Going well, I take it. We're making progress. You're making a racket. I could hear you from outside. I thought Eccles had got a hold of that ginger tom, you know, the one from Inkerman Street? Hey, she's not doing so bad. Babe, this is ridiculous. You can't learn a musical instrument on the internet. You need proper lessons. No, not necessarily. So long as one has a grasp of the basic principles, then it's possible. Oh, right. Great. So once she's cracked the violin, what's next? Brain surgery for beginners? If we can go from the beginning. No, babe, don't bother. Look, darling, if there's one thing I've learned in life, it's this. If at first you don't succeed, pack it in. Give me that. I'll put it in the shop tomorrow morning. No, you will not. You might have a point about me not being the best teacher, but I'll not have Amy give up on account of my shortcomings. 
If I can't teach you to play this thing properly, then I'll find someone who can. Your watch stops or something? Oh, no, I was just finishing something up. That's a great attitude to have, Sinead, but we can't afford to pay overtime. Oh. At the moment. And we definitely can't afford staff doing foreigners. What's this? I'm sorry, I, I would have asked. What, you thought I'd say no? <laughs> Funny that. It, it's not to sell. It's a little gift for Fizzy's daughter. She's back in hospital. I'm gonna go see her later, and I just wanted to make something to cheer her up. But I've only been using cut-offs, and I'll pay for the material, the lecky. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't be silly. Use as much as you like. Oh, uh, thanks. You shouldn't have been frightened to ask me. I'm not a monster. Well, not after five o'clock, anyway. Give them my best tonight, yeah? Yeah, I will do. Uh, thanks again. I think this must be the first time Kurt's been involved in a tug of love. <laughs> Not that this new girl did much tugging. <laughs> no? Nah. She was only winding Beth up. She won't look twice at Kirk. And even if she did, it wouldn't be in a good way. Uh, sorry. You all right? Mm, yeah, but it's just, um, just something at work. Oh, and there's me banging on about Beth, Kirk, and the boss's daughter. How did the Holy Trinity? Oh, don't be silly. I'm sorry. If it matters to you, it matters to me. Likewise. Anything I can help you with? Um, no. No. Thanks. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I can relax until I've sorted it out. Really? Y yeah. I'll, I'll be back. Um, it shouldn't take too long. I just, um... I'll feel better once it's dealt with. Just order me started. You know what I like. OK. Thanks for understanding. Well, won't bother asking about the bouquet. Oh, I didn't touch the sides. Look, I don't know if you saw it in the paper or not, but they've identified that body they found. It was some poor lad from Berry at work, Callum. Right. I'll, uh, I'll have another drink, please, Michelle. Well, I mean, I know that means he's still out there, but... You know, Look, I know me. you mean well. I don't want to talk about I just want another drink. Why didn't you just tell me? You know why. Well, because I didn't agree with it. Well, if you wanted to go out with a nodding dog, then you picked the wrong girl, Luke. I picked the wrong guy, obviously. I was hoping you'd still be here. I'd see Graham in the sink for a minute. I told you I'm OK. No, I disagree. You were going to tell me something earlier. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not the impression I got. You know, sometimes it helps to unburden yourself. Nothing's gonna help me. Yeah, you never know unless you try. Look, I can't talk to you. I can't talk to anyone. Whatever it is, it won't be anything I haven't heard before. I wouldn't be too sure about that. I mean it, Sarah. You can tell me anything in the strictest confidence. Don't go making promises, Vicky, you can't keep. It's not a promise. It's an obligation. Look, I, I, I might be Anglican, but I'm still bound by the seal of confession as much as any Catholic priest. Whatever you tell me has to remain between us. So, shall we uh, grab a seat? Made me feel special. And then things started to turn sour, and he was very controlling. It made me feel like I was just being used. Mm. Why didn't you walk out on him? Believe me, I wanted to. It wasn't that simple. He was very clever. He was good at manipulating people. It was my fault. It was all my fault. And I, I should have walked away long before. Before what? Hiya, Sarah. Is everything all right? Yeah, 
Sarah just needed a little chat. It's fine. What's the problem? Is there anything I can do? No. Could you just give us a few minutes, please? Yeah, OK, just so long as you're all right. Sorry, I don't think this is a good idea. Oh, no, please stay. <sighs> Look, we're making progress. I can't. It's not here. There's everyone. Mm. Let's go somewhere else. Out back. Be more private. Go on. How many times? I don't fancy her. And even if he did, she's getting married any road. Have you never heard of a last fling? She can't hold a candle to you. He doesn't stop her holding other things. I saw her groping you. Well, I can't help that, can I? I was in charge. And I don't know, they reckon authorities are turn on for some women. Well, if you want me to, I'll put her straight. Well, you better add, otherwise she'll put her in casualty. Can I get you a drink? Yeah. Then you can tip it over your head and save me the trouble. Well, don't be like that. I want us to be mates. I know your game. Tell her, Kirky. Really? Tell me what? I'm sorry, Kate, but I'm spoken for. I kind of got that impression, yeah, but I'm sorry about winding you up today. I was just trying to have a bit of fun, but maybe it's out of order. What? So you don't fancy me? No, Kirk, I don't. I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. It's just, how do I put it? If you were that bag of prawn cocktail and Beth were a bag of salt and vinegar, I'd go for salt and vinegar every time. Hey. I thought you was getting married. I am. To Kaz, the hottest infantry woman in the British Army. No. What are you drinking? Oh, uh, three pints of bitter then, please. Coming up. I'll get you some more prawn cocktail and all. What's she like salt and vinegar? Oh. Hey. How you doing, Mrs? You're tired. It's just the medicine, but you'll feel better soon. Mm. Mr. Ted's missed you. I should I put him here on your pillow? Yeah. Right back next to you where he belongs, eh? Oh, come in. Is this a good time? Oh, yeah, she's always happy to see her aunt. Hiya. Uh, how did it go? Good. The surgeon was really pleased. She's still a bit groggy from the anaesthetic, but he'll wear off. Did Chess pick Ruby up OK? Yeah, yeah, fine. Hiya. I hope you don't mind, but I've got hope a little present. Oh, wow, what do you think about that? Do you want to see it? Yeah? Right, now, I know you like Thunderbirds, don't you? So, I thought you might like... <gasps> a K.O. costume! Wow, what do you say? I'm OK, thanks. It's not really helping. Nothing has. So... You were saying something happened? Yeah, I... Um, I wanted him gone. Once and for all. It was just me and him. I should never have put myself in that situation. No, you mustn't blame yourself. It's easier said than done. I've never seen him like that before. He just totally lost it. He attacked me. Oh, and I just thought, you know, he was lashing out. He was going to calm down, but he didn't. Then he wasn't going to stop. I didn't terrify him because there was nothing I could do. And that's why... I never, I never remember it to end the way that it did. You've got to believe that. It's all right. <laughs> you survived. You're OK. <laughs> so what happened next? <laughs> How did it end? Um... Well, so that's what I'm talking about, the relationship. I just... I didn't mean for it to end that way. I didn't want him to hurt me like that. Yeah, so I, just, I got rid of him. Right. Well, between us, we're going to make sure he can't do this to you again. 
We won't ease off the scene. For now. It was Callum, wasn't it? No. No. No, it was, just, it was another boyfriend who, a while back. I just I get flashbacks about it sometimes. I know what Callum's capable of. The only way it's to protect yourself. It's not him, okay? All right. But whoever it was needs to be punished. Not just to protect you, but other women. He won't do it again. And I brought it on myself. I provoked him. No. In my last parish, I worked with a women's refuge. And I saw the victims blame themselves, excuse their partners, even with the bruises fresh on their face. But there are no excuses, Sarah. I'll come with you to the police. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. All right? I don't blame you for being angry. Do you know, I was more disappointed than anything. And I know it probably wasn't your idea. It was probably a daft mate egging you on. No. No, it wasn't like that. It was my choice to race today. I was giving you a get out then. I don't want one. You're right, secrets and lies are no good. Look, I love you. I don't want to be with you. But after today, I've been lying if I said I didn't want to race again. <laughs> really? OK, well, I think you need to decide what you love more. Me or that car. Because you can't have both. I know what I'm asking isn't easy, so you should sleep on it. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll walk you back if you like. Thanks. Um, like I said, you know, um, he's not around anymore. I don't need a bodyguard. Well, that's good, because uh, cheek turning and bodyguarding don't exactly mix. No, I just, just fancied a stroll if you don't mind the company. Well, that's a big one, Hey. Okay. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm a bit bad, thanks. I'll settle for that. The miraculous healing's the, uh, the boss's territory. Um, <laughs> I've, uh, I've just realised that I've forgotten my jacket. I'll just be a second. So, how is she? Really? You heard her. Yeah, and I saw her earlier. Come on. <laughs> What's going on? If I could tell you, I would, but I can't betray Sarah's confidence. Ah, oh, fair enough. Wouldn't want you getting uh, struck off. <laughs> More struck down in my business. <laughs> well, whatever, just... You just make sure she's all right, yeah? I will. Let's see. Uh, it's good you're looking out for her. <laughs> Maybe there's hope for you yet. Nope. Still not getting to heaven. Well, she's a trier, I'll say that for her. Yeah. I wish you'd go and try somewhere else. God willing, one of the strings will go twang. Either that or I will. I can't believe violin teachers charge so much. Ooh, I can. They earn every penny. The cheapest they can find is 14 pounds for half an hour. Would you consider splitting the cost? No way! You got us into this mess. Ah, <sighs> finally. Look, why should I pay good money to have my teeth set on edge? No, it would be cheaper to buy a blackboard and let her run her fingernails down it. I had hoped you'd be a little more supportive. Did you hear me playing? Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely getting the hang of it. Are you sorting out proper lessons? That'd be amazing. Thanks, Grandad. Oh, darling. Well, I was just discussing it with your mother. Please, Mum. Please let me have lessons. You won't regret it. Not when you see me at the Albert Hall. The Albert Hall? Grandad was showing me Nicola Benedetti on the internet. She looked amazing. Aye, aye, Ken. She's a very gifted musician. So is Nigel Kennedy. Look, darling, lessons are really expensive. Well, I don't mind chipping in half. No way. This is not your responsibility. Babe, are you sure you want to do this? Defo! <sighs> OK, then fine. But if anybody's coughing up, then it should be your dad. Listen, if you can convince Steve to pay half, then I won't object. Right. I'll talk to him. Right. This is you? Yeah. 
Thanks for listening tonight. I said, it's all in the job description. And if there's ever anything else you need to discuss, anything that's still troubling you... I'll keep it in mind, thank you. I hope so. All right, good night. Good night. Sarah. Yeah. Whatever you decide to do, just um, just promise me you'll do one thing. If I can. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. You were the victim. And Callum, well, the man responsible, he needs to get what's coming to him. And above all, he needs to be prevented from doing this again by any and all means necessary. Do you really think that? Absolutely. I've seen the consequences of domestic violence up close. I've seen the lives it's destroyed. And if we could just take one of the perpetrators out of circulation, then it'll be a good day's work. I'm sorry if that seemed a little bit hard-lined. I know we're meant to be in the forgiveness business, but um, there are some people that society's just better off without. I want you to think about that. Yeah. yeah I will. Thank you. Anytime. Sunday at 7, it's Simon and Cheryl who've got tough choices to make. The six-chair challenge decides who's heading to judges' houses before Mary's not quite sure she's met her match in brand-new Downton Abbey at 9. Next tonight, Warwick Davis goes under the spotlight for the new series of Piers Morgan's Life Stories. Mm -hmm.